Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your video. And we'll see you soon. First thing we're going to do is identify our kitchen and vanity types. And let's let's talk about this. I'm going to focus on 1A and 1B. Now, look, the difference between 1A and 1B is pretty small. The difference is, is that 1B has this storage closet here when you first walk into a part, the apartment. Now the the uh, um, the living room area is pushed out a little bit to make up for that difference. Um, the bedroom, bathroom area, all that's the same. So essentially the kitchens and the vanities are identical, right? So if I want to simplify uh, my work here, which I do, uh, I want to identify kitchen types and vanity types and just figure out, you know, how many of each of these there are. A lot of this work, you know, I've already done in the very first segment by identifying all the unit types. So I'm going to create a tag very similar to how we did in the first video. I'm going to copy an existing one. I'm going to change it a little bit. So that it's visually a little bit different. And then let's see, I'm going to say that this kitchen is the first one we're at. I'm going to call it K1. It's the first kitchen type. And then the vanity, I'm going to call it V1. It's the, it's the first vanity type. Now, whether it's K1 or KA or V2, 3, it doesn't matter as long as you can keep track of it. That's all that matters. So just follow along and watch how I'm going to do it uh, this time. So this is the same kitchen and vanity type. So I'm going to keep that the same. Now I did 1A, I did 1B. I don't need to keep doing 1As and 1Bs. I'm going to do 1C. One C, same thing. It's the same kitchen and the same vanity. The layout is very similar. It's on this outside wall here, which is creating like a different, a different unit type, but kitchens and vanities are identical. Okay, here's two A. I'm just kind of going counterclockwise here. Now our kitchen is the same here but if we notice we have two vanities now this is a two bath unit so i'm going to give it a new vanity number so it's unit 2a it's the first kitchen type but now we have another vanity type okay so okay 2g is our next one Now this is, again, it's a different, like this is another, this is a two bath uh, unit, but it's different than our second vanity type. So I'm gonna name this V3. Come to SA, we have a different kitchen type. So it's gonna be K2. And this is a smaller, this is yet another type of vanity. It's smaller. This looks like a, this is a 24. I mean, we're somewhat familiar with this job by now, but just eyeballing it, I can tell that's a smaller, that's a smaller vanity. And we have a unique unit type on the third floor, which is unit 2D.
This is our first kitchen type and our first vanity type. So now we're back to vanity one. Okay. So now that each unit type has been tagged and identifying the kitchen type and the vanity type, I, I do want to take a minute to show you something. I, I forgot to do something that I wanted to do. Bef bef before I copied these tags everywhere, what I wanted to do was change the subject to say K and V types. That way, when I'm looking at it in my markups list, it, it breaks it out from the rest of the markups. Because I copied this tag, I copied this tag to create these new tags, it still says level two. They just all say level two. Okay. Now I could grab one of these at a time and edit them, but that would be ridiculous because there's a much easier way. I'm going to expand my markups list and you know, our color is different. So that does separate it. So it's easy to just come here and see that there it is. There's my, the markups that I just made. So I'm going to select all of them. Now I can, I can select one and then hold shift and select an entire group of markups. I can use, can hold the control key and then just select specific ones. In this case, I do want this entire group and I'm going to change my subject to say K and V types. That way, it's broken out from the rest of my markups. Now, this data here, this is the, the information that I want to plug in to my spreadsheet. So in an effort to keep this video a similar length as the other videos, I'm not going to plug in all this data from scratch. I'm just going to, I'm going to walk you through it though. Okay. So pause the video. You do your own data if you're working along. Otherwise just, just watch, right? So I have my data organized like this. And if you'll notice, A1 is K1. Here's A1. That's kitchen type one. Straight down the line, this matches my spreadsheet here. All the way down, K2 is the last one. Now if I go down this column of just vanities, you'll see it also matches. V1, then we have V2, V1 again, V3, and V4. All right. Now we're ready to start marking up countertops. Well, we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial. Uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, so be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.